guys good morning so today is kind of like day two of being kid free I know I'm so excited my mom actually took the girls for a couple days um, so me and Dave could get some yard work done um, so today our um, our main goal is to get some raspberry plants planted um, we belong to this like neighborhood website and um, there was a lady on there who had free raspberry plants we picked up about like five or six of them so today our goal is to plant a whole bed of them and unfortunately we saw some caterpillar nests in our tree um there are two big ones so we're hoping to get those two taken off so that's the plan so let's start by getting those caterpillars off and go from there where are these nasty nests so we got one caterpillar nest all the way at the top and then and another one and there's another one right there all right, let's get these those out nasty of, little buggers. Let's get these out of the tree. Let's do it. All right, climb aboard. There it is. There it is. All right, cut away. All right, so that's the first caterpillar nest that we got off. There they are. Nasty little things. They actually tore apart our apple trees last year. Alright, there's the first one. Let's go get the second one. So that one like spreads oh. like a Y. What's the matter? Prepare. <laughs> Prepare. <laughs> Prepare the right way. Almost. Hi, Salem. What's up, buddy? Alright, first step of getting rid of the caterpillars, gypsies, are getting the nest out of the trees. <laughs> If you, if you can reach them. Um, we got these. Let's see. Can you see them all in there? There you yeah. go. You can see them all. All moving up and about. They're all in here too. So that's the first step is getting rid of these. Now they can, you know, clearly still um, get in the trees from either moving by the winds. I mean, these things are so light right now. Once they come out of those nests, you know, it's a pretty little windy day today. They could be carried by the wind extremely easily. Another tree's touching, you know, they could crawl on it. So, you know, they come in from the ground. So there's many other ways, but you take out the nest. I mean, it's definitely not hurting the problem and it's just helping. So that's the first step we're going to do to try to combat these this year.
Hey guys, so today we're moving on to step two on how to get rid of your gypsy moth caterpillars in or tent caterpillars that you may have going on in your trees. Um, first thing first was we um, went around the property, we looked at all of our trees, took down whatever nest that we had found, um, got rid of those, and then um, Dave and the girls are already working on it. Um, they are going around with duct tape and they are duct taping some of the bottoms of the trees. Um, and then we're going to be going around and putting like a Vaseline on the duct tape. What Vaseline does is as soon as the caterpillars get to that certain um, mark, it gets harder for them to go through it. So therefore, it makes it harder for them to be going up the tree. Alright, so let's go find Dave and the girls and we'll see what they've started. So here is one of the trees. So they already went around and duct taped it and went around with some like Vaseline on it. As you can see, when the caterpillars... Um, get to that certain point, it makes it harder for them to actually crawl up it. Right. Oh, there they are. Hey guys, you helping? Yeah. I'm helping with Papa. You helping with Papa? Yeah. Oh, you lost them. <laughs> that didn't take long. Oh, well, we got most of the trees wrapped up. <sighs> Look it. Got some plums. Look at that. Sweet. There it is. Nasty caterpillars. My arch nemesis. Caterpillars. Caterpillars. What do you What do you see? Nope, even worse. Good job, Aries. One down, one million to go. Here's what I need you to do. Yeah. Ready? Stick the stick in there. Actually, well, let's put this one for you. Stick the stick in there. Put some on it. Right? And then... And me? Look. Yep, and you. Oh, do this end. Okay. And then... Hey, Raina. Raina, look at Papa. Raina, look. Watch. Just on here. They're just oh. ants, baby. It's okay. Nope. Go. Right. Oh, I do see it. Good girl. Say bye, caterpillar. Good girl, Aries. The good thing is that they're like the uh, the big ones. Hey, you know. And they're not the uh, the nasty little small ones. Yeah, they're you know. So. Yeah. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Take turns. Wow, what big helpers you got, Papa?
Good, that's good. Alright, next tree. Next tree. I'll be there in one minute. There's a huge clump yeah. on this side. Yeah, only on the tape, right? It's alright, Rena can do it. Oh, we gotta wait for Papa? Oh, okay. Oh, Rena. Alright guys, so that's it. It's a pretty simple process um, on how to help deter these caterpillars from invading your fruit trees. Um, as you can see, it's really not that um, time consuming. It's very inexpensive and, you know, it definitely helps. Um, you know, you may still have some caterpillars that end up in your trees, but this is definitely something that will help deter them um, from becoming a bigger problem. Um, if you have any tips or any suggestions um, on how else you can get keep these caterpillars from your tree feel free to leave them in the comments below um, and as always feel free to subscribe and give a big thumbs up on the video thanks guys see you later